However, today we are facing escalating conflicts and deep geopolitical divisions, coupled with social polarization, environmental crisis, and the fast-paced evolution of technology. This era, often referred to as a time of polycrisis, demands more than ever a renewed commitment to multilateral cooperation. In these turbulent times, hope and trust remain essential. And as the Secretary General Antonio Guterres reminds us, hope is not enough. Hope requires determined action rooted in the principles of the UN Charter. It calls for all of us to work as one. At this remarkable juncture, the member states of the United Nations have embraced the Pact for the Future, a commitment to realign our global systems and rejuvenate the very frameworks that hold our international society together. This pact focuses on the Sustainable Development Goals and calls for establishing mechanisms for governing digital technologies. It also calls for crucial reforms of the Security Council. This is a direct response to the needs of an evolving society. Through our shared determination, the United Nations system can adapt and reform to deliver solutions for all. Serbia plays a crucial role in multilateralism. Your continued commitment alongside that of every nation represented here today is essential. I thank you for this determination. Together, we can reinforce global unity and ensure that the United Nations remains a pivotal force for collaborative action and peace. Let me turn to the accomplishments of the United Nations here in Serbia. We are guided by three strategic priorities that are essential for accelerating the Sustainable Development Goals. Driving a green transformation, fostering the development of Serbia's human capital, and strengthening the rule of law and human rights agendas. These focus areas are at the core of our mission to support Serbia to thrive in a sustainable and equitable manner. However, no discussion about sustainable development and a prosperous future is complete without recognizing the role of youth. And that is also the theme for today's gathering. Our young people are not only agents of change in Serbia, but also integral to the Pact for the Future. This pact, through its groundbreaking declaration on future generations, outlines concrete steps to ensure the voices of youth are included and valued in decision-making processes globally. We are committed to offering meaningful opportunities for young people to shape the policies that will define their futures. The United Nations has played a pivotal role in promoting youth involvement in global governance, beginning with the International Youth Year in 1985 and progressing to initiatives like the World Programme of Action for Youth and the ECOSOC Youth Forum, we have made significant strides in integrating youth perspectives into global dialogues. In Serbia, empowering young people is more than just a goal. It is an investment in the immense potential they, should, they hold to shape a brighter future. Aligning with the Youth Strategy 2023-2030, we have allocated over 15 million US dollars towards youth-focused initiatives during the last three years to unlock this precise potential. Through groups like the UN's Youth Advisory Group and the UNICEF Youth Advisory Board, we are tapping into the dynamic spirit and creativity of Serbia's youth. One notable example of this potential is the creation of Serbia's first declaration on clean air, where more than 1,000 young people were involved in projects promoting clean air. Their dedication raised awareness among, across communities and led to the installation of pollution sensors in schools, showcasing how empowered youth can lead environmental actions. In mental health, we are fostering collaboration between schools, health institutions, and community centers to address this vital issue, aiming to touch the lives of 5,000 young persons by 2025, ensuring they have the support they need to thrive. In the areas of education and employment, digital career tools and innovation clubs are honing the skills of thousands, including marginalized groups, preparing them to size opportunities and enhance their careers. Moreover, throughout various of our projects, Serbian youth are promoting constructive narratives and dialogues that foster understanding and respect for diversity, effectively constructing trust between communities. 
These initiatives illustrate not only our commitment, but the incredible potential that resides with the young people of Serbia. As they grow into leaders of tomorrow, they remind us of the transformative power that international cooperation and multilateral action can have on our world. As we conclude, let us reaffirm that through unity and collaboration, we can forge pathways to a better future for all. I extend my heartfelt thanks to Serbia for your unwavering support and partnership. Together, let us continue to nurture hope, trust, and shared progress for the generations that will inherit our world. Thank you very much. Hvala.